What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Ooh wee. Too loud out there. Well hope everybody's doing well. Today uh, we have a 13 F350 and it's came in complaining of the check engine light and reduced power and these two DTCs. Alright, here are the two codes that we got after completing the self-test. We got a 207F and a 20EE. And here's, you guys can read that. I won't have to tell you the description. You guys can see what that code stands for, what the possible causes are. He is complaining that the vehicle is in D-rate mode or reduced power. I did not verify that, but he was complaining that he was getting that message in the IC. And then if we scroll down here, we have the other DTC, and you guys can read the description of that one as well. Um, so we're going to click on Pinpoint Test RD. All right, all this information I'm looking up in here is in the PCED. You can see the tab I got highlighted right here. And uh, some of the things we're going to diagnose in this Pinpoint Test are these five things here with all these circuits um, that go to our affected modules. So we're going to continue and go to RD1. Okay, here's RD1, and if you guys remember the two codes we got, they were together. It says 207F or 20EE. We're going to go to a whole different pinpoint test. You can see we're in RD. It's going to kick us, and we're going to go to RK. Oop, that's right. That's right, mouse click. So again, these are the things we're going to check in this pinpoint test, but if you guys notice, instead of oxides of nitrogen we're checking, or pinpoint test, RD, we are, we are now going to be uh, testing the reductant injector. So let's go ahead and click on to RK1, and do we have these codes here? Yep. It says... For all others, go to RK7. Sorry about the focus here. But this is what I want to show. I've never done uh, a DEF injector cleaning routine. And I kind of wanted to show you guys how um, you do it on IDS. And the ultimate question that we want to ask, does the scan tool indicate reductant injector flow is fully restored following the routine? If it does, it's going to kick us back to that pinpoint test RD, but we're going to go to step four. If it doesn't, then we are going to click for all others. God dang it, that's right click again. It's going to say check the reductant sample for urea concentration and contamination. Uh, and uh, yeah, see if there's any contamination present. So we're going to hopefully get the injector to fully restore after the cleaning routine. All right, we're gonna go back to IDS. We're gonna go to the toolbox, powertrain, service functions, SCR, and we're gonna go to DEF injector cleaner. All right, gives us a little bit of tidbit information. IDS's command and elevated RPM may take 5 to 25 minutes. Do you want to continue? Yes. Ignition is on. Alright, what are the prompts it's going to give us now? I just heard the VCM click. We'll start the engine. Hit the tick mark. RPM being adjusted. All right, got to hold on. All right, this is the next uh, scene. After it stabilized the engine RPM, we have to elevate our EGT-12 a little bit. So it's going to take a few seconds into minutes for it to get to eh, right about there. So here we go. All right, we're almost there. Sweet. Okay, so it's going to do this all on its own. We've already built our pressure up, and it's going to clear clear the line. And uh, 
it's gonna do its it's gonna do its thing here. So what do we got? We gotta see what the uh, reductant pump duty cycle is gonna go to. So we got 20, 26, 25, 27. Okay, so it's normal flow, but uh, we're gonna let this complete its little process it's gonna do. Um, I've never had any of them down here into the 15. I've always had them over into the green, but we got a little too hot. So it's going to go down to a cool, and uh, it just repeats this a couple times until it likes the numbers I guess it gets. So I don't know if anybody's ever had to clean their DEF injector using a scan tool, but uh, this is how I have to do it using IDS. As always, I thank you guys for watching, and tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section below. And as always, see you next week.